You know, today's session was a bit different. Um, I was trying to focus more so on the longevity of my training sessions, right? So essentially, um, if you haven't been watching uh, my videos prior, I actually stopped doing the smaller program because my lower back was hurting too much, right? And seeing that the lower back is the, one of the most um, fundamental positions and regions of the squat and even just like daily walking, right? Because of that, I want to be very careful with pains within the lumbar region because the lumbar region, I've said this a lot, but it's like, it's the weight bearers, right? It, um, it takes all the load and the impact of any kind of like force you put onto your body, right? Vertical force, right? So yeah, so essentially, um, I started off this session by doing a lot of, um, a lot of core exercises, right? A lot of the um, regions of, or like the anterior surface of the torso that I guess uh, focuses on the flexion of the spine, right? Now, like with the, with the squat, it's an equilibrium between your, um, with flexion and extension of your spine, right? You want to ensure it's in a neutral position and prevent any moving and you just want to be really, really stable with throughout the whole eccentric and concentric of the squat, right? So that's why I started off by, um, you know, doing opposing uh, contractions, right? Opposing movements. So like flexing the abs. And now I'm um, extending my erectus, right? In this uh, Romanian deadlifts, right? So it, it was really lightweight. I tried pushing it to like 10 reps just to make sure I was getting blood flow in the um, core area, my back area, because I was not taking any chances with... Um, with injuries, like, I really do not want to, like, screw myself over and take another break and just perpetuate that cycle, right? So, yeah, that's why I was being really careful with my um, warm-up. Even just putting the bar on my back, I was making sure everything was tight. Um, I did not want to feel a single bit of discomfort anywhere in my spine at all. Like, occasionally in my um, prior training sessions, I would feel a bit of a tingle or like discomfort when I went down. It wasn't like a major pain or I, to be honest, I wouldn't even have like articulated it as a pain, right? But it was still a small inkling that I feel like was like a micro pain, I guess, that um, I guess accumulated over time and really pushed me beyond my limits and, you know, like strained my back, right? So like just making sure while I was handling any of these weights, I did not want to do like any movement that I had, you know, just, I keep repeating myself, like I just didn't want any pain in my lower back, right? So yeah, um, uh, since today was the second day of the small little program, right? It followed the exact same rep scheme. It felt a lot more light and um, it felt better because I guess I'm just getting used to the feeling. After my first training session, um, you know, like I was feeling a lot of DOMS, uh, a lot of lactic acid build up in my legs, uh, my glutes especially, you know, like as whenever I lifted my li like knees, just any form of contraction of my glutes, that really got me going. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Aside from that, yeah. But despite the soreness, I was still able to push pretty hard in these sessions, right? So, um, yeah, like, that's really all I really wanted to talk about in terms of the uh, warm-up, you know, injuries, uh, like the beginning introductory phase of today's session, right? In terms of the new things that I implemented, aside from like those extra, um, you know, knee raises that decompress your spine and also like flex your abs... Another thing I tried to implement, a bit of a change in my squat posture, was making sure that I was keeping my head up and I was looking upwards. I have a very, um, I guess, this, I have a big habit or like a very prolonged habit that where whenever I go down in the squat, so the eccentric, my head is always looking down. I'm always focused on looking at my position at the bottom of the squat, right? I'm always looking at my feet. I'm always looking at where my knees are. Is everything balanced and stuff? 
And I, I guess I use that as a standard or like an, yeah, so a standard to compare or determine how my squat movement look like, right? And I realized that's pretty dumb because just because something looks balanced and stuff, that doesn't necessarily mean you're yourself and balanced, right? Now, um, furthermore, like, I probably could have just used the camera to look back at my squat and see like, oh, it's fine, right? But it was a habit that I built up just staring at my, like, staring at the ground when I go down. So I decided to, like, look up, like, sorry, not look up, but just, like, look parallel, look straight forward, and not look at my legs, right? And surprisingly, I was actually moving upwards in a more um, balanced manner with minimal imbalances and, like, any form of leaning or tilting, right? And I think it's because I was naturally balancing by feel, right? I wasn't relying on this objective view of like looking at my legs and seeing if it's balanced and um yeah it, it was a really bad habit that i um realized it doesn't really take too much to get out of right all i needed to do was look up do a few sets looking straight ahead and you just get used to that feeling and i want to keep that for future training sessions simply because um you know, like, I feel like I started to strain my neck a bit just staring down while having a weight on my back the whole time. So yeah, um, that's basically it. Uh, I don't really have anything much else to say. And yeah, I'll just finish it off here.